In the history of the solar system, have worlds ever been destroyed? Most of the moons in the outer solar system have craters on them made by cometary impacts. Some have such large craters, though, that if the impacting comets had been just a little bit bigger, the moons would have been shattered. What would the results of such a collision look like? Maybe a planetary ring. The idea has been growing that little worlds are every now and then demolished by a cometary impact. The fragments then slowly coalesce and a moon arises again from its own ashes. Some moons may have been destroyed and reconstituted many times. For our own world, the peril is more subtle. Since this series was first broadcast, the dangers of the increasing greenhouse effect have become much more clear. We burn fossil fuels like uh, coal and gas and petroleum, putting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and thereby heating the Earth. The hellish conditions on Venus are a reminder that this is serious business. Computer models that successfully explain the climates of other planets predict the deaths of forests, parched croplands, the flooding of coastal cities, environmental refugees, widespread disasters in the next century, unless we change our ways. What do we have to do? Four things. One, much more efficient use of fossil fuels. Uh, why not cars that get 70 miles a gallon instead of 25? Two, research and development on safe alternative energy sources, especially solar power. Three, reforestation on a grand scale. And four, helping to bring the billion poorest people on the planet to self-sufficiency, which is the key step in curbing world population growth. Every one of these steps makes sense apart from greenhouse warming. Now, no one has proposed that the trouble with Venus is that there once was uh, Venusians who drove fuel-inefficient cars, but our nearest neighbor, nevertheless, is a stark warning on the possible fate of an Earth-like world.